Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anne and I've been a reseller since 2005, mostly on eBay, but over the years I have also sold on Amazon, both Merchant Fulfilled and FBA, as well as a little time on Etsy and Poshmark, but mainly I've been an eBay seller. I make a lot of videos on YouTube about eBay and I have written a number of books about eBay as well, shameless plug. The link to all of my books is below. They've been updated for 2021. I also have two styles of reseller planners. And if you were interested in making money on YouTube, I have a book about that as well. So commercial over, the link is below. Uh, but this video is going to be about Bulk.com's new partnership with eBay. So Bulk, B-U-L-Q.com, and they will be linked below, is a liquidation company. They mainly deal with liquidation from Target, either clearance, overstocks, returns, and then they turn around and sell those items to people like me who resell online or just the general public. I don't think you have to have a sales tax ID to order from bulk. I don't think so. So I think anybody can order from them. And I have ordered um, a number of times from bulk over the years. I have videos on this channel. You can go and look back about uh, ca uh, cases that I've ordered. With bulk, you can order cases, which ship for $30 or you can order pallets, big, large pallets. And the shipping on the pallets, I believe is $200. So I've only ever done cases. And it's basically everything that you would find in a Target store. They have cases uh, divided by categories. So home, health and beauty, toys, electronics, tech stuff. If they sell it in Target, you can find it on bulk.com in their cases as well as their pallets. But I always stick to cases. And you order directly on their site. They have different conditions. They have new, um, I think, like new, uninspected returns, and maybe like salvage are the categories on their site. Um, I've typically been happy ordering health and beauty as well as tech accessories from them. And uh, several months ago, they announced this partnership with eBay where they are now selling some of their cases, again, the ones that ship for $30 on eBay directly. The advantage being that if you purchase one of their cases on eBay, the listings will automatically draft for you. And so then you just have to go in and complete a few details in the listing before it goes live. So I've been looking at this. I thought, well, maybe this is something I should do for the channel. You know, kind of looking at it, I forgot I got busy. But I decided to go ahead and do this um, so we can test it out. And I can let you know that if, if this is something maybe I would recommend to you who are interested in adding in liquidation. Now, I think when you're talking about liquidation, for me, I only ever buy what is labeled as new. I do not buy uninspected returns. If you go into people who have written reviews on bulk or on eBay and they complain about bulk, they also have a Facebook group, which is torture, because all people do is complain about the cases of uninspected returns that they order being damaged. And that is what you get when you buy uninspected returns. People can take things back to Target for any reason they want, including they just don't want it. So you can have things that are stained, torn, broken, parts are missing, half used, whatever the case may be, that's an uninspected return. Target gets it back, gives the customer the money, puts it in a bin, uninspected returns because they don't feel they can put it back on the shelf and it gets sold to liquidation companies like Bulk and then resellers buy them. And most of them complain because the things are broken and unsellable. Well, that's what you get. I only purchase new from liquidation companies bulk or any other company. I only purchase items that are labeled as new. Now, just because items are labeled new doesn't mean that they are brand new mint coming off the manufacturer's assembly line. When you're buying new liquidation, almost always the items are gonna come with clearance stickers on them because again, that's how they got liquidated. They were on clearance. Sometimes it's overstocks or whatnot, but again, it's mostly Clearance. So Target is one store that puts clearance stickers on a lot of their items. Not all of them, but on a lot of them, they will put clearance stickers on. So when you get the items, you need to peel the stickers off. Fortunately, I have a, a father who's 89 years old and loves to peel stickers off of things. So that's his fun job when I do this kind of stuff. But note that there is that even when you buy brand new. Also, when you buy new, you can expect that there will be about 10% damage in the case or the palette. Again, this is true across all liquidation companies when you read the fine print, that there's going to be damage. There's gonna be damage because things just get in there and they get damaged. They could have gotten damage in shipping, whatever. There's gonna be some damage. For me, I like to have a secondary source to sell things. 
so that when I get a case like this, not all things can go onto eBay. Maybe I find it's a, an item that just really isn't selling well, or there is a bit of damage to it. Not enough that would prevent it from maybe selling, but I don't want to mess with trying to grade it. So I have a consignment store that I can take those kind of items to. And I kind of think of that as almost just getting my money back to just get rid of those things and then focus on the items that I can sell on eBay. So my advice, always buy brand new unless you are very experienced buying liquidation. You are working with a company where you know what their uninspected returns type of items you're going to get. Um, sometimes clothing unexpected returns are a little easier because people are just taking them back. They didn't like it. It didn't fit. By the time the store gets it back though, maybe it's out of season. Sometimes you will find a little makeup stain maybe or a small tear, but you can fix versus unexpected returns of things like toys or makeup that have been opened and broken. So, you know, you really want to leave the unexpected returns to the pros. Uh, so I only go with new. I know that it's going to come with about 10% of the items being unsellable on eBay or whatever website I'm selling on, and that there's going to be some work to do to peel off the stickers. So now that um, Bulk is selling these cases on eBay, what's the advantage to buying them on eBay versus their own site? Well, the items, when you buy a case, the items are supposed to draft for you. So you purchase a case, order's confirmed, and within a minute, this happened to me, I went into my seller hub, I clicked on listings at the top, and there was a banner that said, here's your bulk order, click here to create your drafts. And I clicked, and there were the drafts. And you might be thinking, wow, so easy. And I was thinking, wow, this is going to be easy, until I went and looked at the drafts. So yes, the items are drafted, meaning the title, the manufacturer's description, the um, barcode, what's it called? The barcode, this thing, the barcode's in, uh, and some of the other items, like item specifics are checked. However, one thing I was expecting that did not happen is that the photos aren't there. Now, Bulk provides stock photos. When you order directly from them, you can click on, it's basically a target stock photo. Again, these type of commodity items, the manufacturers provide these stock photos to all of the sites that sell on. So Target, Amazon, CVS, Walgreens, Kohl's, I don't know, wherever you can buy something online. If they sell these kind of commodity products, health and beauty, tech accessories, the stock photos are standard, they're there. When you're on bulk, you can just do a copy paste of the stock photo and put in your listing. The um, manifest on eBay, you can't do that. There's no clickable link to the stock photo. So I have to go and find the stock photos myself. Now, again, these are commodity items. It's relatively easy. You take the barcode and put it in Google and you can usually find the manufacturer stock photo. I'm not usually one that's like, yay, use stock photos, but these are being provided by bulk. Again, these are stock photo commodities versus somebody modeling a skirt and then you take that picture and do it. These are commodity, you know, cell phone cases or lip liners or whatnot that the pictures are pretty much all the same. A lot of times when you go into Amazon, if you're selling and you scan the barcode, it'll automatically put in the picture. A lot of times when you go to eBay and you scan a barcode, it will automatically put in the stock photo picture. This is what I was expecting was gonna happen with bulk. It did not. The photos are not there. So I am now having to go in and get the photos. So that's an extra step I wasn't anticipating. Some other extra steps. The titles can be a little wonky. The code, that they have printed the text in for the title doesn't automatically transfer directly to your title. So I'm getting a lot of special characters, like you'll have the words, but then there'll be like the and and at signs in there because it didn't transfer over. They used, they must be using HTLM code and then it transfers over into text and it's not transferring. So I've had to make an edit to almost every title that I've looked at so far. Minor edit, again, also, these aren't the kind of titles I particularly would use. They use a lot of dashes. I don't like using extra punctuation because it takes up room where you could use keywords. Um, so I'm having to modify the titles. I'm then putting into my store category, which is normal. They're putting it into the category that eBay uses, so that's fine. Um, it gives you a special code if you're one of those people that like spreadsheets and you're, you want to have a 
code for every of your listing, it gives you that. It puts the barcode information in um, and it puts if the item is new, does that. And then it puts in a description. A description that's the manufacturer's description, which again, isn't what I would use. So I, the first one I did was some batteries. I went in and looked. Oh, I ordered the case. It's gonna obviously probably take a few days to get here, but you can go in and do this background work while you're waiting. So advantage there, okay. It's not the description I would use. Um, the battery description was a paragraph from Duracell, like we have the best batteries in the world. Blah, 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 blah. That would, that's not what I would put in. I would just put in the bare bones info. I'm not Duracell, right? I'm not selling the batteries. So the description on some of these is like, mm, that's gonna have to be fixed. Uh, from my point of view, some people, they'll leave it in and it won't bother them. It kind of bothers me. Um, the item specifics, we all know that eBay has a ton of item specifics. There are the required and the suggested. The required, you have to fill out. The suggested, you don't. There's a ton of options usually in the suggested and I see people get all tripped up. They're like, oh my gosh, I don't have time to fill out this out. You don't have to, but you need to fill out the required. So again, with the batteries, it put in the brand name, but it didn't put in the type, which was a required. So that was another thing I had to go and select. Um, it didn't put in the weight of the item, uh, which I have to know for shipping. And it didn't put in the price. It did put the quantity. Now the price again, that's, but these are new items and they're commodity items, which tend to hold their MSRP value. Not all the time, but some, but usually I start them at their MSRP price and then I can discount from there. I thought the price would go in the MSRP price that's on the manifest. It doesn't. So that's another section I have to do. So I have to fix the title, do my store category, which is normal, fix the description, make sure they chose the required item specifics, do the weight shipping section, um, and then of course the photos. So there's a lot in there that didn't get drafted. Versus, had I ordered this case directly from bulk.com, I could have essentially done the same thing by going to their manifest on their own site, not the eBay site, their site, and clicking through to the stock photo they have, entering the um, barcode. Why can't I think of what IS, IBN, ISBN? I'm in the book world, I'm in the resale world, so many codes. Entering the barcode and gotten the same information and I could have put it in myself. It makes me a little nervous that they have put all this information automatically and some of it's wrong or not the way I would have wanted it. So now I feel like I'm having to really go in and make sure like, okay, well, is this the right item? Did they put the title? Is this the right description? Did I say that I ordered a case of tech stuff? I'm, I apologize, I think I skipped over that part. I ordered a case of tech stuff. I'll insert a photo here of what um, the bulk site looks like on eBay, as well as the case that I ordered. Okay, so there you see the case that I got. It has an MSRP value, $2,800 with tax and shipping. I paid just under $200 for it. Um, and I was anticipating that most of the work would be done for me. That's not the case. Is it better than if I would have ordered the case directly from bulk? I can't say that it is. It started it, it drafted it for me. But again, I gotta go in and I've gotta make some you know, corrections. So it's a toss up to me, which would have been better. I guess it is nice to at least have the draft started. Like my, went into my drafts, I immediately had everything that was in the case drafted, at least started with the barcode, you know, in there, which is sometimes a little tricky, you maybe misplace a number. So that part is nice. But the fact that the photos weren't there is kind of a, mm. now it's not hard to get the photos. Like I said, I can do that. I was expecting more to be drafted than there was. Still not sure it's a bad thing, but it is something to note again. The other thing is when I buy from bulk on their site, I'm always looking for deals. They very frequently discount the cases pretty quickly too. They wanna to move this stuff out. So I like to go over and I watch cases that I like and I wait to see if I can get them down in discount. And sometimes their cases go 80% off. 
So you can really get a good deal. They're not doing that on eBay, like having a sale. So I'm also, I'm still a little confused about what's being put on eBay, what's being put on their own site. Maybe it's both of the same thing. Not quite sure. Maybe it's stuff that hasn't sold and they're, that what, that's what get puts on eBay. I'm not quite sure, but there's less on eBay than there is on their site. So if you're looking for a more curated selection, I think when I went on the store and I looked under new, there were maybe 200-ish cases versus if you go to their site, there's going to be hundreds. So it's a little easier to sort through if it's your first time trying liquidation. So I think if it's your first time doing this, it's a nice way to go. Find a cheap lot. Like I said, they've got the lot that I bought was 159 before shipping and tax. Of course, like I said, I paid almost 200. Um, make sure you have a secondary source where you can sell items or use them yourself that aren't going to sell online. And kind of an easy way to ease into it. Now, even if you don't want to do liquidation as your only source, it is always a nice thing, I think, to add in. These items tend to sell pretty fast, especially health and beauty and the tech accessories because people are always going online for replacements, extras, whatnot. And if you have it, it's a pretty easy thing. These are pretty easy things to sell. However, these things almost always sell with free shipping. And I say free because someone has to pay for it. And if you offer free shipping to the customer, that means you're going to have to pay for it. So I'm already going in and putting some of these things in and they're a little heavier and they're a little more low dollar. If it's over a pound and it's a $20 item, well, if it ships to California, that's going to be over $10 shipping out of the cost of what I bought. It kind of, which is why unless you are going to really scale up and do a lot of liquidation, I personally think it's something more to just kind of add in because it does bring in traffic to your listings and this kind of stuff like the health and beauty and the clothing, obviously you can sell on Poshmark. I did say that mostly they deal in Target and that's true. They sometimes will have things from Lowe's, sometimes from Bed Bath & Beyond. Usually the Bed Bath & Beyond stuff I think is more in the palettes. Also in the past several months, they have started doing name brand liquidation clothing from department stores. Now those are only available on their site, but they do have some really good deals on clothing that I'm assuming from department stores that either have closed completely or that were closed down during the pandemic and then everything went out of season. But you can go on there and you can find cases with Free People and Eileen Fisher and all kinds of stuff um, directly on their site if you're a clothing seller. And of course, then you can sell those on eBay, Macari, um, or Poshmark, wherever you want. Again, note that there are going to be items in those cases that aren't sellable. Um, and of course, like I said before, be careful, new, um, almost new returns. I always go with the new. You're pay up a little bit, but you're more likely not to be too disappointed. So recap. I've ordered this case, I ordered it yesterday. I'm gonna wait for it to come. I'm starting the drafts. When the case gets here, I will show you what it looks like and um, see how much more I have to do to get the listings up. Like I said, I'm going through and I'm doing what I can. What I'll need to do when the items come is make sure that the item I got actually matches the photo that I have for it. And it's the title obviously is the same. Um, that it's the same item because again things can get mixed up make sure i have the right quantity they do put most of these are multi quantities so they did put the quantity in and again pull those items that i don't think will sell on ebay take them to the consignment store and my dad of course i'm sure will have to go through and peel off clearance stickers i've only ever gotten one case that didn't have the clearance stickers on them and i think it was from during the height of the pandemic when we were on lockdown they didn't even bother clearancing stuff. They just had so much stuff they needed to move. But usually there are those clearance stickers. So they'll have to have the stickers taken off. I'll have to examine everything, double check, make sure the listings um, weights on anything if I'm not sure before the listings can go live. So who is this good for? Like I said, if you want to add some liquidation in to draw traffic into your store, these cases can be a great deal. You know, you don't have to spend much. Like I said, they have ones that are under $100 if you can find them. And it's a way to try it, maybe bring some traffic to your store or get things for yourself. Um, also, if you're someone who can't be outsourcing, whether it's due to the pandemic, whether you have some mobility issues and going out to the stores, garage sales, whatnot is difficult. Liquidation can be 
a great source for you, especially if you do have mobility issues, illness, where being at your computer, dealing with things is easier than trying to get out and be moving around a lot. These things, these kind of cases can be great. Note, however, that they're heavy. Even a case versus a pallet is heavy. We're talking 40, 50, 60 pounds on these cases. So if you do have mobility issues, you're gonna need that help moving the box, getting things out. But if you have a little help, you can get things onto a table. It's certainly easier than, you know, going through a thrift store and trying to push carts and lugging things in and out of the car and home, all that stuff. Um, and also, if you're buying new, other than taking the clearance stickers off and giving everything a quick once over, these items should be brand new in the box and you aren't going to have to do any kind of repair or testing or whatnot. It's, it's as is. So those are the advantages. And like I said, I wanted to try this so I could show you if the eBay option was worth it. So like I said, um, I'll continue this video once the box comes and I will update you then on how the process is going. So keep watching. I'll check in when the box actually arrives. Okay, everyone, it is Tuesday, January 6th. I've already gotten shipping and tracking from eBay. Actually got it yesterday. And it looks like my case is going to arrive tomorrow, Wednesday the 6th. So I've been trying to do a little preliminary work on these drafts because that seems, you know, what they are promoting with this, right? You buy a lot, it gets drafted, the items get here, boom, you can list them. And I'm not finding that working for me very well. Now, here's the manifest of everything that's in the case. I've already started deleting some items that I just don't anticipate selling, particularly anything that's Heyday brand. That's a Target brand, and I've never found that it does well for resale on eBay. Um, so that stuff I will already just pull and take to the consignment store. So I've deleted some drafts. I've also found some um, like small items. It's batteries in here that was just a small pack of batteries that maybe sells for $3.99. I'm not gonna list that. Um, there's a binder, I'm not gonna list that because um, it's heavy and bulky. And again, with these types of things, you really need to offer free shipping because what I do is I see what they're selling for on Amazon. And then I try to beat the Amazon price and of course offer free shipping on top of that because that's what people expect. So um, this is what the manifest looks like. Now, when you order directly from bulk.com and you look at the manifest on there, you would be able to click on the photo and it would bring up the stock photo and you could just right click save and have the photo. You can't do that here. And the photos didn't transfer into the drafts. So I'm having to go in and find manufacturer photos that are exactly like the one on the manifest. So I'm like keeping with, you know, sticking with what bulk was supposed to give me. So let me pull up a draft and I'll show you what that looks like. So here are my drafts. You can see I currently have 51 because again, I've pulled some things out, heyday and some lower dollar items I've found. Um, now here's something that you can see. Now look, these Duracell batteries, there are multi quantities of them. When these get here, I will be lotting them together. I don't want to sell one pack for $8.99 with free shipping when I could lot all three of them together and sell them as once. Same with this pack, uh, same with this one. It's just easier to list and make more money in bulk than if I just sell them one by one. And batteries tend to sell well um, when you lot them together. So let me open up a draft and I will show you what it looks like before I touch it. So this is how it came to me um, when Bulk drafted it. So this is a Kate Spade, New York, Apple iPhone 11, Pro Wrap case in black crumbs. That's the title that it automatically put in. Okay, so that's fine. I would still add new, sealed, whatever, but this type of stuff, you know, commodity items, people are looking for the exact title. This is the same title. I'm sure it matches what's on Amazon. So for SEO, Google, all that stuff should be fine to leave it as that. Um, then it goes down and it gives you this lot ID, which is just something you can see. Now, of course, it did select the category that eBay has it in, but now obviously it didn't select my store category because those are things I set up on my own. So I do have a Let's see, where'd it go? Doo, doo, doo. Electronics and tech that I'll put it in. And since this is Kate Spade, I'll go ahead and add this in to clothing and accessories just for my store purposes. Now it did automatically put in the UPC code, which is great. 
Typically though, putting the UPC code generates the photograph if it's a stock photo in eBay system. None of these are apparently in eBay system, so I'm getting no pictures. So I'm having to go on and get the photos myself. And sometimes when you do that, you may just get a photo of the product, not the box. I like to include a photo of the box. So I can already see when this stuff gets here that even if I do find a stock photo of the actual product, I'm gonna wanna include my own photo showing that yes, it is brand new in the box. Now here's where we go to the required item specific. Now again, eBay has required and recommended. You only have to fill out the required. You don't need to waste your time down here unless you wanna drive yourself crazy. And this did fill in both required, the brand and the type. Now this is an iPhone wrap case and it chose wrap. Um, but when it gets here, I might look at it and decide, wait, maybe case is better, but I need to see this thing before I decide. So that might change. Recommended, you can see, I never look at this recommended stuff. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Some of the ones I've pulled up, a couple recommended have gone in here. Uh, oh, it did, it put black put the color black as a recommended. So it did pre-fill that one. Otherwise, I just ignore it. Shows the MSRP. <laughs> and then here's where I'm a little, mm. this is what it puts in the description. It basically is putting in what the manufacturer wrote. So those batteries I was showing you for Duracell, the description reads as though Duracell wrote it. So, you know, Duracell, we produce batteries. But making it sound like the company itself is shipping this. Now, this did read or does read um oh no show off your personal style with the playful sophistication of our kate spade new york previously now i wouldn't do that first of all i wouldn't write this i would just put the item measurements any technical info i wouldn't write this paragraph but this hour indicates that kate spade this is kate spade's listing it's not so what i think i'm going to do because most of these have this in it i'm going to put from the manufacturer and then put it in quotes. Unless I decide I just need to take it all out. I don't know. I might just leave it, but make sure that people know, no, this is what the manufacturer wrote. Also add in that it's brand new in the case. I will do that. Now the price, it does not um, put in the price for you. Obviously you price it. It will show you, of course, eBay's average sold price, 100% free shipping. Uh, so there is that, but I do check Amazon just to see what the current offer is. If you want to accept offers, the quantity, it does fill quantity in. Uh, and then you can go down here to the shipping. Now, this was odd. Um, it preloaded parcel select ground $6.99 shipping on all the listings. None of this stuff is stuff I'm going to be able to charge shipping for. Like I said, this is a highly competitive uh, category of items. Everybody ships for free. So I'm just going to switch to calculated. And then... What I find odd is where did the USPS parcel select go? It's not in here. It'll go first class and then I'll click free. But I do like to put parcel rather than first class because parcel's slower and then I can upgrade quote unquote on my end and ship it first class and the buyer gets it faster. So that's odd. Now here's where we really get into a pickle. Look what they did. Package type, all of the ones I've opened so far have been letter. No, you need package or thick envelope. You don't have to worry about this if, um, unless you're selling something oversized. I don't worry about the dimensions, but they did put nine by one by five, so whatever. And then what the weight is. Now it's gonna be under a pound, I know. But again, once it gets here, I will weigh it just to make sure before making that selection, I can go ahead and put it in my promoted listings. <laughs> I don't think so, selected ad rate. That's a big fat no. Um, actually, I will unclick that and change it when I do it. You can offer promotional discounts, and then you've got down here the fees, and then I just save as a draft so that when the items get here, we can process all of them, and then you can see um, some of them I've done. There's a Kate Spade. I found one stock photo that matched theirs, but yeah, I have a lot here that don't. So I've kind of stopped working on this and I'm going to wait until the items get here, wait until everything gets opened up. I'll be able then to do a, probably a quick look through and see if it's worth listing, pull it, and then work with the drafts that I have. Um, you can see the buy it now prices that I've started entering in just as to kind of bookmark it. These probably won't last. But yeah, thus far, 
what I feel is if you're just starting with liquidation and you struggle with listing, this might be a nice way to go, but just know, here, let me open something else, that there's a lot of work that you're gonna wanna do on the, on the end. And if you're not that comfortable fixing things, sometimes it's easier to start from scratch, you know? So instead of looking at this and realizing, do I have to fix it? What do I gonna do down here? It maybe just would be easier to start on your own. See again here in the description, the slim design of our cases, it makes it sound like obviously the manufacturer wrote it, not me. So I'm gonna again put from the manufacturer and put quotes. Shows the MSRP here is 1049. If I go down here, it'll show the average sale price so I can make a decision. So again, like this, I'd probably have to do 999 with free shipping and it is an Apple iPhone case. So that's small, it's gonna go in an envelope, but it's still gonna be three to $4 to ship. So you can already see where the price, um, the profit margin is really cut down on this type of stuff. Um, so yeah, I will check back in tomorrow when the case arrives and you can see everything as we unload it. I'm filming our bulk boxes here. So I ordered on Sunday and it got here on Wednesday. And here's what it looks like. Everything just thrown in. They usually don't have any packing material. And you can see everything has clearance stickers on it, which is where my dad comes in. Right, Dad? Yep. Going to peel off all the stickers. And then we'll have to sort everything, pull stuff that's going to go to the consignment store. I mean, I'm not going to list a binder like this on eBay unless I decide I want to keep it for something. So I know that's isn't going to be listed, but... Oh! Hey, you guys! What are you doing? So, yeah, that's okay. the next project. Go through, sort, yeah. and take off all the stickers. Yeah. Fun project, right, Dad? Yes. Yeah. How's it going, Dad? What's the equipment you got here? You got a little jar of what? Paint remover. Paint remover. A little toothbrush. You do have those little peely things, but you don't generally like those, do you? The little label peeler things. You just generally pick them off yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, where are those peely sticks? I don't know. Okay, I guess we don't have any. I know we do. You've got this little oh, scraper. Yeah. 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 They make plastic ones, but you like that one. Yeah. That's easier, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Got to make sure you don't tear the box. So it's a lot of work doing this. If you didn't have a papa to do it, would you want to, you could start your own business um, taking labels off of things. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? No, oh, yeah. probably not. Okay. <laughs> so it is now Thursday and I thought I'd check in with you and show you my progress. So I have been listing items on eBay so far. This is what I've gotten listed, all of that stuff. Um, and this is the, or the rest of the pile that I think I'm going to list. Of course, I won't know for sure until I actually sit down and do the research on it. I will also be listing these batteries. I'm just going to be lotting them together. And these are two things that I'm keeping. So as for what I'm taking to the consignment store, here's the pile and it's a big pile. So why? Number one, this is a low dollar heavy item. I'm not going to list that on eBay. The other thing, <clears throat> number two, are all of these heyday items. Now, not that these items can't sell, but the problem with heyday is that this is a Target brand. Um, and that means getting the stock photos is difficult because you basically have to go on Target site and like screenshot something. You can't like click, right click, save it. Um, just the way they do their graphics because they're protected. Their target dollar, their low dollar, they don't have a great resale history on eBay, but they'll do fine at the consignment store. So for me, instead of trying to jump through hoops and, you know, or take photos myself of this stuff, it's just for me personally easier to take them to um, the consignment store. This I'm not able to find a good stock photo of. And again, I'm trying to do this with as little work as possible. So unless they have the photo they can provide me, the company bulk or, um, you know, there is a manufacturer stock photo like on Amazon or somewhere that it's just the basic photo that everybody uses. I can't seem to get this one. Um, this is a super low dollar selling item. This box is all messed up. These are Target exclusive cases. Again, they're OtterBox, they're good, but when they're Target brand, it's hard to find the photos. And again, I just don't wanna spend a lot of time on them 
when I could take them to the consignment store. Um, so we've got charging stands, wireless, a couple of these things I might end up actually keeping, like I could keep that probably. We've got earbud case, selfie light, maybe I could keep that. <laughs> Um, I'm hoping I can get an, iP or an iPad here soon, so I might keep one of these cases. But again, because I have that source where I can um, sell items that I just don't feel are worth listing, that is fine for that stuff. Again, like I said, I'm going to uh, list the batteries. Now, another thing to note with a lot of this stuff when I'm going into list. Number one, almost every cell phone case that I pick up, the draft that was created on eBay by bulk has these listed in the wrong category. They, they're in the mount category of cell phones rather than case. So I'm having to make that change. Um, I'm having to make sure that the description I'm putting uh, from the manufacturer so that the description, which is written by the manufacturer, makes sense. It's not by me. I'm adding in the color, putting brand new in box. Um, Another one I'm having to change is down in the shipping when almost everything I've gotten, they've put letter, that it's shipping in letter. No, it needs to be package thick envelope. So I'm having to make sure to change that. So yeah, um, definitely editing that I'm having to do on my end. But um, And when you go in and you look at what the MSRP is, none of this stuff is getting listed at the MSRP price because people go on eBay and they're looking for deals and they're not going to go and pay what you would pay for a full price Kate Spade cell phone holder at a department store. Because would you ever, this stuff's always on sale no matter what store you go to. So it's going to have to be lower on eBay as well. So, you know, this was a $2,400 um, MSRP lot. No way am I getting get anywhere near that. Um, I don't even know if I'll get up to half of that, honestly. And then, of course, I'm having to put free shipping on everything because these are commodity items that require free shipping because everybody ships these for free. Amazon, Target, Walmart, every site on the internet, including eBay, these items ship for free. So that is where I'm at now. Hopefully, I can finish up this pile tonight. Um, so I'd say probably about a third of it is going to the consignment store. Maybe I'm going to look at a fourth. Again, these batteries, I'm going to lot these. Another thing that these happen is you get these stickers, salvage stickers on them. Um, it's up to you if you want to go ahead and take those off as well, along with the clearance sticker. This type of stuff I will be lotting together because people, obviously it's easier to create one big lot of a bunch of packs of batteries um, rather than piece them out for seven, eight dollars a piece. Again, with free shipping. So I will check in once everything gets listed. Oh, thought I'd check in again real quick because I did have my first sale of an item I listed. So it's this pop socket pop mount. This sold for $7.99 with free shipping. It's going to ship at the four ounce rate. So it'll be just shy of $3. But that leaves me um, with, what, $5 quote unquote profit that I then have to take fees out of. And of course, the cost of goods. Um, so yeah, you can see where you can get really excited about something like this. Like, wow, it's $2,400 worth of stuff. But once you actually adjust your prices for the market demand, once you factor in the quote unquote free shipping and the fees and the supplies and your time, you know, it adds up. It's not going to be what you think you hope you might get from it. Okay, everyone, I am done listing everything and I thought I'd do a breakdown of the lot, what I paid, what I think I'm going to make. I'm um, summoning my inner Amber resales for all of this data. So Amber, if you're watching, I thought of you while I was getting all these numbers together because I was like, could I just send this to Amber? Maybe she could get me a spreadsheet, but no, I did it myself. Okay. So here are the details. So this was the bulk liquidation lot, new items, cell phones and accessory purchased directly through eBay. You can see the MSRP on that was $2,461.60. And it said there was 108 items. The price for the lot was $152. Shipping was $30 and tax was $1064. I forgot about putting in my sales tax permit. So I wouldn't have had to pay that. So I, yeah, didn't do that. Oops. But that means I paid $192.64. And that the cost uh, per item, that meant it was $1.78. Now, I ended up listing... Um, 65 items to eBay for a total of $982.36. Why so low? Well, 
competition. These are commodity items. The MSRPs are super marked up on them and it's just natural that you're gonna have to list them for less to be competitive. Um, so that uh, all the listings also have quote unquote free shipping, meaning I have to pay the shipping. So that meant 30 or 43 items I did not list on eBay. Why? They were heyday, they were Target brand, there was some damage to some boxes. Um, anything that was exclusive to Target it just doesn't tend to do that great. Now you could list it, I could have listed it. I wasn't able to get stock photos because it was Target. I would have had to take my own photos and I was just trying to keep this quick and easy, as easy as I could. So I chose not to list those, but again, you could. Out of the 43 that I didn't list, I'm keeping three. Um, that means I'm taking 40 to the consignment store. So the, at the consignment store, I estimate that I will make $80 on those 40 items. That might actually be a little high. I get half of what they sell an item for. They price the item and things go on sale. People get deals. So that's actually probably a little high, but we'll just keep it there. Now the issues. Okay. Several items were mislabeled, meaning the manifest, it didn't match the items I got. So there were several items that look like they, well, they were missing, but then there were other items in their place. Again, that's typical with liquidation. Obviously the clearance stickers needed to be removed. Now I had my dad to do that. Had I had to do that, that would have added a lot of time to my schedule. Um, a few of the items had box damage. Again, that is very typical, even when you're buying a new lot. The big one, no photos. I assume that buying this, that the photos would be included in the drafts. They were not, not one single photo was included. So I had to do the work to find the photos myself. And like I said, when it came to items that were exclusive to Target, I wasn't able to do that. I would have had to go to Target's website and screenshot a photo. I mean, I just didn't really feel comfortable doing that. It wasn't like the manufacturer photo. It felt to me, it felt to me that it was Target's photo. So I don't know, that was just me. Um, and corrections needed to be made to every single listing, specifically all of the eBay categories, almost all of them were wrong. Every cell phone case, which is what most of the stuff was, was listed as a cell phone mount. Uh, so I had to change that. Uh, I had to double check the descriptions and the titles, but mostly the descriptions. I had to add in according, or um, what did I say, from the manufacturer because the descriptions read as though the manufacturer had written them. And I want people to know, no, this is my listing, but this is what the manufacturer says about it. Sometimes I had to add in more information to the descriptions. The item specifics were also a bit of a mess. Um, eBay has required item specifics as well as suggested. You have to fill out the required. I would have been happy if all of the required had been filled out, they weren't. So I had to figure that out. And when you're dealing with techie stuff, it can be a little difficult, um, the categories that they wanted you to specify. And then the shipping was a mess. All of the items, every single one was categorized as shipping via letter. And that's not it. It needs to be packaged or thick, thick envelope. So I had to change all of those. Um, and then I got my own weights. And again, I'm doing free shipping, but I made sure to put in my shipping weight for me so that when I go to print a label, I can just print it off. So those were the issues. Now my estimated profit on everything, I'm estimating $500. It might go up to 600 depending, but I'm gonna do low and I'm going to do estimated profit, again, after cost of goods, fees, postage, shipping supplies, and taxes. I'm estimating the profit at $500. So was it worth it? So an estimated profit of $500, I did about four hours work getting everything listed. My dad did do more work taking the stickers off. Um, so probably looking at a total, like if I had been to do everything, six hours maybe of work, I'm a slow lister. I like, cause again, I had to make sure that everything was right. So, would I recommend buying the bulk lots on eBay? The big thing is, is that you get the drafts, right? That's supposed to be the benefit. However, I had a lot of issues with the drafts. They weren't right in many sections of the listing. Now, for me, as someone who's been doing this for a really long time, it was easy for me to make those corrections. It was kind of like if somebody came to me and said, hey, I'm new to eBay, and I did this listing, could you look it over and make sure it's okay? I'd be able to do that pretty quickly for someone. And so that's really what I was doing. I was having to double check 
someone else's work, in this case bulk, and make the corrections on my end. Now I was able to do that pretty easily, but would it have been just as easy for me to get the product and do a scan on my phone, um, see if the barcode was already in eBay's catalog and do it from that for me, it probably would have. So can I recommend doing this? If you are under the, if you understand that you're gonna have to go in and double check your listings thoroughly and you're comfortable doing that, then this can be a good way to do it. You're gonna have to find your photos, you're gonna have to check your categories, your descriptions, the item specifics, and like they said, the big one, the shipping. If you're willing to take those extra steps and make sure everything's right, it's not a bad deal to get them drafted. That being said, you could also just order a, bulk, a lot directly from bulk.com, maybe find one that's a better deal, um, and then just use your eBay you know, scan it in the barcode and see if it will list that way to draft. The pictures are a big thing. If pictures were included in this, I'd be fine with making sure all the other stuff was fine. But because I had to find the photos, that also meant that I couldn't work ahead too much because again, I had to make sure that the picture matched the item and not all items that were on the manifest came. So there were several items that I had started to draft and then they weren't even in there. Other items were. So it really was pointless to work ahead when I had to undo things and just wait till I had the items in hand. So I really can't say if it's a good thing or not to do it. If you're experienced with eBay, you know how to do the back end stuff. It can be a good deal to get them drafted. Um, be aware of what you're buying. If it's all Target branded stuff and Target has a bazillion brands, then it can be really difficult. Not only is that stuff low dollar on the resale market because it's low dollar in store, but finding the photos can be difficult and then you're going to have to take your own photos. And that would be the best part of this is if you didn't have to take the photos. If the photos were in, I'd be all in. But because the photos aren't in, for me, eh, but you will have to decide for yourself. I will link bulk.com, their website below, as well as their store on eBay. My final piece of advice, again, if you're gonna do this, make sure that you buy new lots. If you purchase used on eBay, which is customer return, you're gonna get what you get. And that can mean stains, rips, missing parts, broken things. And you get what you get and you can't complain. If you buy new, there's going to be some damage. There's going to be some errors. But most of the items are brand new in the package. That being said, you're going to have to take clearance stickers off. So there is a lot of back-end work with this, but that's reselling. You're always going to have that work to do, even when you think you're getting an easy-peasy <laughs> lot that um, the work is done for you. Because I still had a lot of work to do on this. Um yeah, so that is my, what I hope you see is an honest review of Bulk's partnership with eBay. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, if you've ordered a case directly from eBay or if you've ordered from them uh, directly, bulk.com. Um, ordered, I've ordered from them a lot. Again, I'm really careful, make sure I'm not getting lots with a bunch of Target brand items and that I'm only buying new. Those are my two big um recommendations for that. But let me know what you think. And if you like this type of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more reselling content. Um, and with that, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.